A big year along the Space Coast blasted off last night as a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket launched from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. This rocket, beautiful launch, carrying a communication satellite into space for Sweden. As News 6's James Barbero shows us, the next planned launch looks to take one small step toward future missions to space. It's only January 4th and already we're counting down to the second launch of the year here at the Cape. And it's a big one. Out here at Launchpad 41 Monday could be the first launch of the new United Launch Alliance rocket, the Vulcan Centaur, and its mission is going all the way to the moon. A teleconference today tells us more about the lunar lander the Vulcan will be carrying. It's the first American spacecraft that would land on the moon since the Apollo program, a major milestone for NASA for its future goals of staying on the moon under the Artemis program. We are really excited to start this new American adventure on the moon. Under the Artemis umbrella, robotic spacecraft will conduct important scientific studies preceding and in parallel with exploration by astronauts at the lunar south pole. Listening into the teleconference, the mission managers say the plan is for the lander to touch down on the moon in February. Meanwhile, plans for the Vulcan also include ultimately replacing ULA's Atlas and Delta rockets. Vulcan has more space for payloads than those older rockets. And even comparing Vulcan to SpaceX's new heavy launcher, Starship, while we've watched the most powerful rocket in history explode during its test flights so far, all systems of Vulcan have already been tested to failure. So its first mission is expected to be a success going to the moon. Three of our instruments will collect data on lunar volatiles using different techniques. Two instruments will provide perspectives on the radiation environment at the lunar surface helping us better prepare us to send crewed missions back to the moon. And it will be an early liftoff Monday. The launch time is scheduled for 2.18 in the morning. In Cape Canaveral, Brevard County, I'm James Sparvero, getting results news six. Thank you, James. Two launches in a week is something folks along the Space Coast are going to see a lot of this year. State officials expect around 100 rockets to be launched from the Space Coast this year. That would shatter last year's record, which was 72, and nearly double the 2022 amount, which at the time was also a record. You can stay up to date on all things space-related by subscribing to our Space Coast and Beyond newsletter. James and News 6 anchor Eric Von Aiken send the latest stories to your inbox every Monday morning. You can subscribe by going to clickorlando.com newsletter.